Boot's not the greatest. Where are you guys? Stay staying? at the Blue Boot. I'll stay with you guys blue at boot. the Blue Boot. Blue Boot. Okay, you're at the Blue Boot Inn. Um, it's run by a uh, gentleman named Thomas who's excited to have customers. It says, Welcome to the Blue Boot Inn. I need your most secure room. He says, why, of course, all of our rooms are very secure, but if you want the uh, the luxury suite, I can make that happen. It's uh, three gold a night. Oh, is that all? It has a safe. I'll take it. He says, done. He, uh, he takes your money and gives you a key. How many nights will he be requiring it for? Uh, well, that's a good question. At least a few nights, I would think. Right, uh, gentlemen? Ladies? Huh? Um... So, uh, the only other yeah. thing I would say to keep in mind, guys, is our horses we paid for a week, too. Um, oh, right. did we? Yeah. So we gotta at least stay a week. Yeah, might as well stay well, we a don't, week. Well, we don't have to. I imagine if we go back and be like, hey, we need to leave right now and give us our horses, he's not gonna be like, you already paid for the week. That's not how it works. Like, <laughs> like We're not done with them yet. <laughs> well, we have to get our money. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you we guys signed a, a week you lease. signed this yet. Yeah, these horses are legally our property for the week. <laughs> if he's not yeah, gonna we... give us the difference back, then we have to stay a week. Because here's the problem. <laughs> you take him out riding, you hurt himself while he's still technically here, then our insurance won't cover our it. Our insurance doesn't cover it. <laughs> yeah. My horse is missing legs. It wasn't like this when I brought it here. Oh, I guess you should have made a sketch before you dropped it off. <laughs> How am I supposed to know your horse didn't have legs? <laughs> That's shit. This is you, shit. You mean good old tripod cheap. here? These are two sheep tied together. <laughs> this isn't even. Anyways, uh, you have a good night's stay at the Blue Boot. For everyone else, it's five silvers. For Carl, uh, you get a luxury suite with a safe built into the room. I uh, put my book in the fucking safe. Good <laughs> call. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Also, nameless girl sleeps with the shotgun beside her pillow. Hey, okay. <laughs> hey, nameless girl. I know a guy who can sell us dynamite. His name is Hobbs. I have Let's a question. Go. I have a question about nameless girl. Legit. Does she sleep in her stupid mask and stuff? She's just in this mask twenty four hours a day. I didn't think he wore a mask. Does yeah, he? she? Oh, it's like bandana. She, she, she sleeps in. She sleeps in underwear, but she still has the mask on. How does she sleep? <laughs> And under her mask, there's another mask. <laughs> That's funny. Um, she has a hooded house coat. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you guys wake up in the morning. Leslie, you said you wanted to visit an old friend? Yeah. You gonna bring the party? Well... Um, sure. Okay. All right. So you guys, you uh, let's say this old friend off, is? Is it an old no. friend. Yeah, dude. I guess the other oh, question is, does the party want to go with Leslie? Yeah, that's true. No one really gives a shit. Or does the, they does were like, the dungeon oh. master want us? So like, Leslie got cleared, like his name got cleared somehow by powerful people. And everyone's like, eh. <laughs> and Leslie's like, cool. Uh, Leslie, why don't you roleplay it to the party while I BRB? But I'm eating a taco. All right, so um, roll like that first. Drop one down on your second. girlfriend. <laughs> Les says, um, "Well, I kind of wanted to go alone, but um, I have a friend of mine here in the city, um, and I'm wondering if he might be able to help us with this whole sword business. Although it might be a complete." Another huge mistake. I also have a bit of personal business that I have to ask him about. Uh, and Anna looks at Was Yang. that convincing? And oh. Yang stares off into the distance. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, like, didn't, I wasn't paying Twitter attention. Feed. Yeah, the, for the first time tonight, so I did not too bad, but... Um... <laughs> Way to congratulate yourself. <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, so can you just Leslie repeat? Leslie is going to see a family friend who he said also might know about the sword. He also said he might want to go alone. Oh, I'll so come. I, then I if know. he if he if he might know about the sword, I'm all in. I'm sense motiving what you're saying right now. <laughs> oh my god. 
Um, it's a trap. I'm referring to somebody who's. Um, I'm alluding to the fact that he's really powerful and that he's a family friend of mine. Uh, and he's obviously very strongly connected to my family. Um, you won't. Are you him. lying about the sword thing with Yang? The sword thing? No, I'm gonna actually look into it. Um, but I'm not gonna mention that it's magical. I'm just going to. It's a pretty like. It sticks out, even if you don't say it's magical, right? So, I'm gonna ask uh, about if he knows of any collectors or anything that's and it's come across. And um, the personal business uh, seems like I want to ask him something about what, uh, my family. And yeah, <clears throat> he's okay. great. Yeah. Well, I mean, if Yang is gonna go in, I will go. That's fine. Ben is going, really... and I'll go. I, unless, well, what's Thrindle doing? What's, what's Benzel gonna do? He's gonna, oh, he's gonna still jerk off for the millionth time because he's um, fucking two hundred. <laughs> he's gonna sell his body for. All right, so you guys decide like, to go yeah. as a group. <laughs> <laughs> to go visit the Central Exchange, which, uh, as you guys approach the financial district, uh, like the sheer wealth becomes apparent. Um, the streets are better paved. There's all sorts of like art and different statues up. Uh, right in the center of the square is a statue of Leslie's great 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 grandfather. Yeah, do we uh, know this? Uh, it says right on the bottom of the statue. So if you we can have the read, same common. Name. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, something, Carl, something. I, Washington. I gave you the honor of uh, naming him. What did you come up with in his the name, end? His name is uh, Leslie. I'm actually Leslie the third or fourth. All right, you know what? I'll go with that. Uh, Let's so go it, it says Leslie Washington, and it's uh, it's a man, and he's like. <laughs> Uh, it's a stone statue of a man who's dressed in kind of like uh, explorer fatigues. Uh, he's got like a compass hanging from his hand and a uh, spyglass. By the way, I was mistaken. It was supposed to be Bishop. Bishop Washington. Well, you fucked up. Yeah, it's now it's late. Leslie. Now it's Leslie. Damn it. Actually, the guy who made the statue was executed. He got all the way through doing it, but he fucked up the name. <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to die. But sir, your name is so fucked up. You get people to call you like four different things. <laughs> Sorry, I should have kept that in chat. We're so going to the good town. All right. Uh, so you guys enter the office in the Central Exchange. It's very busy, uh, but eventually you get led in, and you guys are here. Um. Can you guys see? I say. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, I say, um, I don't know if we'll all be able to travel together or not. Um, yeah, we will. We're going to basically have to go to the front desk and ask to be brought to his office. Uh, so you uh, kind of make your way nonchalantly to the back office uh, when you see his secretary. Uh, she says, uh, can I help you? Yeah, do I recognize her? Uh, yes, her name's Edna. Uh, you haven't seen her in many years. I'll say, Edna, it's so good to see you. Uh, I imagine you don't recognize me. Uh, are you guys sure you can see? Yeah, see but there's the a lot portion. hidden. Wait, you guys can I just see, see your... everything. Just the hall. Yeah. The hall, okay. the door to the left and the right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it might weird. just be loading one... for you. When, when it loaded for me, it was just all white, and I was kind of confused, but it just took a while. That change at all for you, Carl? Yes, I see Edna. Okay, sorry, I do have this messed up. Giving you guys all sight now. Mm. What's his name again? Was it Arthur or something? I forget. Uh, Michael Ironsides. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to say, um, it's so good to see you. It's been such a long time. I, I assume you don't remember me. She says, you're a, you're a Washington, I can tell. He, uh, Leslie smiles. Is Michael in? Uh, yes, Michael's in. Uh, I'll, I'll see if he can take you. One moment, please. Thank you. He runs over to the next room. You guys can hear some talking. And you see hear uh, a big bellowing familiar voice say, Why, of course, send the young lad in. She says, uh, Mr. Ironsides, we'll see you now. Thank you, Edna. <laughs> And 
there's a door at the end of the hallway. <laughs> the door's closed. Door. Uh, so a big burly man oh, with fuck. a uh, with a set of mutton chops, smoking a cigarette, says, uh, "Leslie, come in, come in. Uh, bring your friends." Leslie rushes over and uh, and reaches to shake his hand. He looks uh, he genuinely your, excited. He shakes your hand with a firm handshake and says, uh, I'm guessing you've read the paper. Come on in, have a cigarette. Yes, indeed I have. Um, I don't suppose that was your doing. He says, of course it was my doing. Who else would have done it for you? You see, Leslie, you may not like this, but your your family name is still the hallmark of our bank. Y you throw that in the mud and you throw our whole practice. Everything generations of your family have worked on tirelessly. And you know what also you throw into jeopardy? What's that? He strikes a match and lights a cigarette. He says, my profit margins, Leslie. <laughs> I... You weren't <laughs> thinking about those, were you? Clearly I was not. Um, although I will say, it's nice to hear that you're doing things because you care about me as well as your profit. He says, well, I can't go around having a PR scam on my, on my backside, now can I? Uh, he says, uh, please, introduce me to your friends. Offer them a cigarette. A cup of coffee, perhaps? Um, yeah, Leslie looks to his friends, um, uh, kind of unveiling his arm over the, the beverages and the cigarettes. Um, from right to left, we have Thrindle Yang, Anna Gorgon, Gamry, and Shvelna. I bow. Uh, good thing he gave us all our real names. And I was just sort of stiff laid looking <laughs> at Oh, there's no secrets here. Yeah, I'm sure the Prophet Morgan Crew <laughs> Banker won't sell us out, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes a, uh, a neutral banker. Hey, well, um, I don't. the paper had nothing to do with our names in it. He says, uh,. Well, Leslie, what are you doing with yourself these days? Me? Well, I've, uh, since the, um, separation of our family from the bank, I've been on a bit of a sabbatical, and as you know, uh, my grandpa Bishop died. Yes, yes, sorry to hear about that. It was a sad state of affairs. Thank you. Uh, Did you um, see my obituary I submitted to the paper on his behalf? Unfortunately, I did not. I left town shortly after. Um, uh, the Intrepid may be a bit of a hack job, but it sure is good for marketing. I don't suppose you have a copy of it here. I wouldn't mind attaching it to my scrapbook. Uh, I've got someone somewhere, and he digs through one of his drawers and says, Ah, here you are, and he hands you a coffee-stained paper. Uh, Leslie smiles, looking at it, shoves it into his pocket. Um, well, the real reason I'm here um, is, is twofold. I initially was going to come to ask you about my mother... Uh, but since running into this uh, hardy group of adventurers, which I've since have hired as my bodyguards, um, I have been somewhat taken with um, this one's personal quest. You see, his family has lost a rather valuable artifact, and I know you know a thing or two about um, people who trade and deal with high-priced items. Says why, well, yes, there is often uh, quite a few things that go through here, but... Um... If it was a stolen good, you know, my man, that we only deal... We are very above the board here. Remember, Leslie, that taxes are important. We need to make sure we pay our fair due. Your grandfather taught me that. I have not lost sight of my family's morality, I assure you. Uh, oh. it, which is why we are sticking strictly with the law. That being said, it's possible that whoever's had it um, is a accomplished... Um, counterfeiter, uh, and, and has possibly provided fake documents. You never know what could pass through your doors. Nice. Uh, Alright, so let's start with Anna Sense motive there. Yeah. Uh, Anna, you think that he is telling the truth. Like, he got quite offended when, like, he's like, if it was stolen goods, we would have never touched it. Um, right. And you're also detecting a very strong hint of patriotism from him. Um, from just your... Um, yeah, good job, Yang. <laughs> Uh, there, there. Yeah, from your 